Woohoo, the new paint booth filters are here. The new paint booth filters are here. I'm living on the edge. Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's models here. And I finished off the Atlantis Boeing 727, and it says Dash 200. I got those little door and window decals on there. And between that and what some glue troopers have told me, I have something interesting to tell you about this model. First off, it's completely off-center for mounting on a stand. That notch that comes in the kit is way too far forward, making it very tail-heavy, so I had to glue it to the stand. Secondly, the decal sheet, once I got in there, I realized the windows didn't line up the way they did on the box. Now, it's possible because I did not use that cutout in the tail decal that I might have been a little out of alignment, but I did use the corner of the cockpit, which is exactly where that's supposed to go. So, I think it may be a little off on the decal. You may have to do a little cutting and trimming to get it just right. Because I was warned by some eagle-eyed glue troopers who said, you know, I really think that's a 727-100, not a 200. And I did about two minutes worth of internet research, and I think they're right. Now, the primary difference between the 100 and the 200 is that the Dash 200 is 20 feet longer. It has plugs for and after the wing. But there's another thing. The Dash 100 has the starboard side emergency door and service door right in front of the wing, which is where the kit has it. Whereas with the Dash 200 series, which is longer, that service door is behind the cockpit opposite the main cabin entry door. Also, I did a little digging and the Dash 200 was being designed in 62 and first flew in 63. But the Aurora kit dates back to 62, so I think they're right. None of the Aurora kits ever said Dash 200. They just said 727 and maybe Astrojet or something like that. But in all their iterations through Aurora, Monogram, and the Atlantis Eastern kit, it just said 727. Only on the latest version did it say 727-200. Yet it's the same pressing, so I'm not sure why they did that, but I'm fairly certain that's a mistake. Also, the window count on the model was 36 passenger windows, whereas on the photograph of the Dash 200, it was 44 windows. I don't think it's a Dash 200. I don't know if there's some reason they chose that or if it was just a, a mistake, but I'm pretty sure it's a Dash 100. So there's a little interesting bit of trivia for you. Also, while we're on the subject of the 727, as I mentioned, they don't have wheel wells, just holes in the bottom to put the landing gear in. And I'm saving mine, um, all of the landing gear, accoutrement, in case I decide to put it on its wheel someday. But I warn you, you're going to need a fair amount of weight in the nose because it's a definite tail sitter. That being said, it's out in the tarp, it's hardening right now. I'm done with it. It's going up on the shelf or somewhere. I'll probably get a few pictures of it. In fact, I, using one of these photos just as a quick and dirty grab as the first image for Viewers Build 56, just to have something to start off the folder with. When I went back out to the Tarbis to resin in that stand, I'm actually using that uh, resin water because it's very thick and fills in nicely. And having accidentally stuck stuff together with it, I'm aware of how well it holds. I decided to go ahead and take one quick look uh, to get the dimensions we were talking about earlier. And I noticed I had put on that aft door on a configuration where it wasn't required. There's two different configurations for the starboard side. And if you use the exit that's right in front of the wing, then you don't put on the rear door, probably a prototype thing or something like that. So I decided to go ahead and remove that decal it came off nicely in one piece. I'm like, well, I've got a perfectly good decal. Hate to waste it. I'm like, oh, I have the perfect place for it. Oh, yeah. Bom, bom, bada, bada, bom, bom. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I did it. I did it. That was really all the work I got done today because of the guys working on the Tarvis. 
that trellis on the back of it has turned out to be a real monster to take down. They've been working on it two days, and so it's uh, hopefully tomorrow they'll finish, maybe. Uh, they're getting some of the structure removed now, but that's no problem. It'll get done when it gets done. You know, I look at all the models and how much fun I have building them, and of course, like most people, sometimes when you're building a model, you sort of escape into the world of reality or fiction that that model represents, which may, and to some degree, kind of sum up the joy of model building, when the great wisdom of none other than Vince Maranto talking about how sometimes you think other people are living your life, and with models, we get a little taste of the life we didn't choose. In fact, I'll just let Vince speak for himself. Guys, you take care of yourselves, and as always, model on. How can I ever be happy while another man is living the life I was supposed to live? I used to feel the same way about underwater explorer Jacques Cousteau. I love Jacques Cousteau. Right? How I envied that red cap bastard. <laughs> while I was busting my hump on land, he was sailing the seven seas. Yeah, you had that underwater sub, too. The Nautilus. Get you eyeball to eyeball with the legendary giant squid. <laughs> They have put men on the moon, but so much of the deep sea is unexplored and unknown. Right? I mean, anything could be down there. Hi, Calypso, the places you've been to, the things that you've shown us, the stories you tell. Hi, Calypso, I sing to your spirit, the men who have served you so long and so well. I This is the first model I've ever had where you have to wait the nose to sit on a stand. My God, they put that notch in the wrong place. I'm going to have to cut a new one. Woohoo, the new paint booth filters are here. The new paint booth filters are here. I'm living on the edge. <laughs> Folding wings come in handy trying to find a place to store this thing.